Oh, good evening. Good evening. Um, yes, never joined you. I, I um, see your face come up because I'm on my phone tonight because I can't get on the uh, church live video on my um, iPad. So here we are. Good evening, everyone. Nice to see you all. Um, yes, welcome to our weekly uh, Tuesday, My Tuesday Night uh, for Night Prayer. Um, welcome. And uh, yes, just say who I am. My name's Dave Jen. I'm one of the uh, church wardens at St George's Church in Enfield, Freezy Water. Uh, you're all most welcome to join us tonight. Um, so, um, yeah, night prayer on Tuesday night. So um, we'll make a start. And, um, yeah, thank you. So the Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. And our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, and heal us by your Spirit, and rise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray. Thank you that you, steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams, defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful fault may know. O Father, let we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. So now we have the psalm for today. Um, Tuesday is Psalm 89. Um, Verses 19 to end. Then you spoke in a vision to your Holy One and said, I have given help to one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found my servant David with my holy oil. I have anointed him with whom my hand shall be established. Also my arm shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not outwit him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. I will beat down his foes before his face and plague those who hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name his horn shall be exalted. Also I set his hand over the sea and his right hand over the rivers. He shall cry to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Also I will make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. My mercy I will keep for him forever, and my covenant shall stand firm with him. His seed also I will make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his sons forsake my law and do not walk in my judgments, if they break my statues and do not keep my commandments, then I will punish their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness I will not utterly take from him nor allow my faithfulness to fail. My covenant I will not break nor alter the word that has gone out of my lips. Once I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. His seed shall endure for ever, and his throne as the sun before me. He shall be established for ever like the moon, even like the faithful witness in the sky. But you have cast off and abhorred. You have been furious with your anointed, you have renounced the covenant of your servant. 
you have profaned his crown by casting it to the ground, and you have broken down all his hedges. You have brought his strongholds to ruin. All who pass by the way plunder him. He is a reproach to his neighbours. You have exalted the right hand of his adversaries, and you have made all his enemies rejoice. You have also turned back the edge of his sword, and have not sustained him in the battle. You have made his glory cease, and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth you have shortened, and you have covered him with shame, Sheila. How long, Lord, will you hide yourself ever? Will your wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. But what futility have you created all the children of men? What man can live and not see death? Can he deliver his life from the power of the grave, Sheila? Lord, where are your former loving kindnesses? which you swore to David in your truth. Remember, Lord, the reproach of your servants. How I bear in my bosom the reproach of all the many peoples, from which your enemies have reproached, O Lord, with which they have reproached the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord evermore. Amen and Amen. So glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And a big welcome to those who are joining us now. Lovely to see you. Um, that was, yeah, that was the psalm for today, Psalm 89. All right, we have our first hymn. I've chosen two as usual. Um, which now is sort of uh, Trinity 19. And you probably know this one, All My Hope on God is Founded. And just bear with me. Two Let's get this up. Switching back to Kowski, give you... Okay, that was, um, yes, our first hymn, All My Hope on God is Founded. I'm sure you know that one. Okay, now we have 
the, the scripture reading for today, um, which is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Um, it's uh, chapter 26, verses 24 to end. As Paul defended himself in this way, Festus shouted at him, You are mad, Paul. Your great learning is driving you mad. Paul answered, I am not mad, Your Excellency. I am speaking the sober truth. King Agrippa, I can speak to you with all boldness because you know about these things. I am sure that you have taken notice of every one of them. From this thing has not happened hidden away in a corner. King Agrippa, do you believe the prophets? I know that you do. Agrippa said to Paul, In this short time, do you, do you think you have made me a Christian? Whether a short time or a long time, Paul answered, My prayer to God is that you and all the rest of you are listening to me today might might become what I am, except, of course, of these chains. Then the king, the governor, Bernice, and all the others got up, and after leaving they said to each other, This man has not done anything for which he should die or be put in prison. And Agrippa said to Thetas, This man could have been released if he had not appealed to the emperor. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, and now next is um, our prayer for today from the Church of England, um, the, the 5th of October. Um, so if you're able to, can you please bow your heads with the prayer for today. God, our Judge and Saviour, teach us to be open to your truth and to trust in your love that we may live each day with confidence in the salvation which is given through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, next is our second hymn. And um, you probably know this one as well. Um, it's a well-known one. Um, yet, yet again for Trinity 19. Um, it's, uh, oh God, our help in ages past. So let's me find that.
thank you that that was um the choir of king's college cambridge um such a good hymn had to uh, play it all which i'm sure you like it and appreciate um so now we come to nearly our end um we will now say together the lord's prayer so if you're able to please uh, join me in saying the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen and now we have the Conclusion for the end. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guide us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, and your word has been fulfilled. My own, eye, my own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people Israel. And glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guide us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. And abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. And as the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. And the Lord bless us and watch over us, and the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So thank you all for uh, joining tonight on the night prayer. Um, lovely to uh, see you all um so please have a, a restful rest of the night and have a good evening and um, a good day tomorrow and hopefully i should see you on friday night for usual thoughts of the night on friday and um yeah thanks for running thanks for joining god bless and see you soon thank you <laughs>